In this video, I will show you how to use raw power to work with a collection of images using all the tools at your disposal. I will rate, filter, edit, and export a set of the better images. To keep this relatively short, I have selected a set of about 80 images of my dog. I'm using the file browser for this, but this works exactly the same if you're using the photo library. First, I will add a folder with the images by clicking the Add Folder button. I can choose between a Finder folder or a new photo library window. In this case, I want a Finder folder. It's this rating folder here. Okay, now here are all the images. I'm just looking at the images here in the grid and can rate or make decisions by looking at thumbnails at different sizes. In fact, I can make them quite large. This may be enough to make decisions. However, I like to use a different view in the application. The view I prefer is one where there's a large individual image and then a film strip at the bottom. I have many ways to get to that particular view. One is to double click an image, which will take me to the viewer plus film strip view. If I double click again, it takes me back. Another way is to hit the V key and V to go back. Or I can tap the viewer button in the toolbar. From here, I can start making quick decisions, and I'll share my approach on ratings. I start by deciding between images that are worth keeping and ones that aren't. If they're not worth keeping, I reject them, and if they are worth keeping, then I give them one star. At the end of my rating, I will delete my rejected images, but of course, that's a personal decision. I can do that from the keyboard by hitting the one key for one star and the nine key for reject. There are other ways to rate as well, for example, with the toolbar or a contextual menu, but of course, it's much faster to use the keyboard. The important thing is I don't make any other decision besides one star or reject, no matter how much I like the image. That's because I've learned that I just can't make a decision on relative quality until I've really seen all the images. This first image is a keeper. This one is, this one is, this one, I might be able to crop it, but I don't like the expression, so that's a reject. This one, eh, maybe. I think I'll reject it, though. This one, no. This one, eh, maybe. Maybe. So maybes get one star. No, she's not looking at the camera. It's a little close, but it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh, I thought that was going to turn out better. Okay, okay, a little blurry, that's better. Okay, 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 okay. That one's kind of funny. I can't decide if I like that one or not. So I'll say yes. That one seems strange. That one's blurry, blurry. Blurry. See that one, she's squinting. I'll go back and reject that. These all seem to be worth keeping. might be able to salvage that one, so I'll just keep it for now. I like that one, but again, I'm not going to change the rating beyond one star. Clearly a reject. Blurry. It's cute. The raw power shirt, got to keep that. No. Yes. No, no, no. Eh, maybe. Again, no. A little blurry, but it's cute. Okay, so that's it. Went through the first set of images. Now what I do is I go to the filter menu here, and I'm going to change the filter to only show one star and greater. Now that removes all the rejects. In fact, you can see down here it says 62 images displayed, 23 filtered out. So in that first pass, I actually rejected. 23 out of 85 images, so that's about eh, 
almost 30% of them didn't make the first pass. So the next pass will be to give some of these images two stars. This would be a good time for me to give more detail about my rating system. So I mentioned reject, obviously those go away. One star are worth keeping just because I'm not really comfortable deleting them. Two stars are ones that I think are worth showing my wife and kids. Three stars, I would be willing to share them to extended family and friends. Four stars would be worth printing or hanging, perhaps. Five stars would be the best images. Okay, so I'm gonna give two stars for images that I'd be willing to show to my wife and kids. A lot of images don't get that rating, but I'll pick some as I go. So I think these are fine. One's fine, sure. No, 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 maybe. But I see there's that other one I like better here, so, no. Well, hmm, maybe that one. I like that one with the little little toy there. That one's nice, but not as good. I think that one, that one's good, that one. That one's funny. I like the two expressions. None of these really. Maybe that one just because it's different. No. Between these, I don't have to pick just one, but between these, I think that one, that one. Since I've gone back to them, now I get a better sense for eh, which ones I really like, which ones I don't. That one's interesting. I like that one. Okay. Now I'm going to filter again. Okay, now I'm down to 26 images and 59 are filtered out. So which ones now are worth maybe sharing to extended family and friends, those would get three stars. So we'll go through these and now I've seen enough of them that I'm gonna be even more discerning. So I'd say maybe this one. Okay, that's three stars. I'll spare you the time and not go through the fourth and the five stars, but of course at each step, there's less and less to go through. For example, if I go now and show just the three stars, I'm only down to nine images anyway. So there's only gonna be a couple, if any, that get four or five stars. But so I've gone through an entire shoot of 85 images and gone through this iterative rating process, which both gives me a real sense for the images in the shoot and also allows me to have a very clear idea of what the ratings are. So when I go from shoot to shoot, I have a consistent way of evaluating the images. Now that the images are rated, I can decide which ones to edit and how. Usually what I do is I start with the three star images and edit those because those are the ones I'm willing to share. So what I'm probably gonna do at this point is just go through and do something like batch edit them. So I can select them all here and just say batch auto enhance. So that'll go through and batch auto enhance them. Um, I might also sharpen at this stage. So not because I think I'm done, but it gives me a sense for how the actual images are gonna look at the end. Uh, sometimes I use a preset for that, sometimes I don't. Then I go through the individual images and make specific changes. So for example, this one, I think the green has been overdone. So I think I'm gonna go back on this and back off that vibrancy, for example, like that. Um, I think for this one, perhaps I might also apply a vignette. So apply a vignette right here and then uh, just set that right there I got a vignette applied and so once I've got all those 
let's say that's all I want to do with them. Again, I can select all these images and I can, I'll do it for the menu so you can see it. I'll pick export. I get my choice of exports. I'm going to export these so that they're 2K pixels on the long side. And I'll put them in a new folder here. Exported. All these settings are fine. And that's it. The export's completed and I'm done processing the shoot. I hope you found this video on rating, filtering, editing, and exporting in raw power useful. Thanks for watching.